up, fam? I'm here recording, and let's just check what time it is. It is almost 1 in the morning, and it is a school night as well, and I am recording a video because I am really bad at managing my time, and therefore... Oh my god, Chewbacca! I have a Chewbacca stuffed animal. Anyways, um, before we get started, I... I just got a new mic, as you guys can probably tell, which I took a little bit of a break from recording there because I wanted to wait till I got my mic and stuff because I just wanted to be extra like that. Um, but yeah, it changes colors and stuff, and it's really cool. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, okay, I had to cut out a little thing. I was having some troubles getting the game started. Anyways, so, we're back now. <laughs> so, it's the beginning of episode two, technically, like, the next part of the story. Oh, is that a person? Or, oh, no, it's a zombie, so we have to kill them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> also, do y'all like my shirt? I just got it today. It's cute. And my hair is probably longer than the last time y'all saw a video of me. This time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. That rabbit looks kind of yeah. gross, not well, gonna lie. That's another meal lost. Who's he, first of all? <laughs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you should have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Tea. I have no regrets. I'm kind of confused, not gonna lie. Like, I'm really confused. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought oh. she was going to take off my hand. We're yeah, so if y'all don't remember, basically Carly was the girl, like, in the last episode we had yeah, to, like, pick right. who died, and it was, like, Doug, I think, and Carly, food. and we picked Carly. So, we'll see we'll manage. I'm gonna try not to talk over them too much, but too happy about the way they're ca they kind of talk the entire time. <laughs> to keep the Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? Well, Ignore my yawning. Up. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense. Okay, so Lily and freaking you know, Kenny about are just drama queens. Lily is probably still just as annoying as she was in the last episode. Okay, so he's better off without us. He's got a family to look out for. Can he want to abandon us? Can he abandon us? He's a good man. He might, though. Not going to lie. We're kind of lying. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? So, Larry Squidward. We call him Squidward, if you're new here. Because <laughs> I think he looks like Squidward. I basically just give them all nicknames. Like, what's his name? The little kid named Duck or whatever. He's Sid, like, from Toy Story. Looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. I keep trying to read the little notes in the corner. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. True. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's Basically. a walking pile driver. That is kind of true. Be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Yep. Uh, knock me flat. I'm trying to make sure I don't look over here. I have my computer over here and I can, like, see myself. And I, I remember in a couple of my last, like, videos, I, like, constantly was looking over at my computer to see what I looked like. And it was bad. So I'm going to try not to do that. Um, that was some noise. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. That is factual. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Oh, freaking hungry. <laughs> oh! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Is Kenny getting eaten by a walker? This background music's kind of sick, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. Oh god. Jesus. Right. Oh, shit. No, I need to have like a we yawn know. counter. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, there's okay? There's Kenny. Out. Okay, yeah, I couldn't tell if that was Kenny get get for a second or not. Them. Travis, maybe they can help. Hi, they Travis. Okay, so that was Travis. We barely got away from that. What guy? Why is his mouth like not is moving? There a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Why does he always look so worried? Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Can't chill out. 
try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. Gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. He looks like Shaggy and he sounds like Shaggy. You gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Okay, what are we gonna do? Oh, there's hurry, definitely zombies. Because, of course. Been there's no relief left. We're gonna have to cut his leg off, aren't we? Those zombies, they walk so weird, but it's like they go so slow. Like, y'all got time, but... Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! I'm trying to yard, Jesus. Oh, God. Why can't we just cut the chain? No, no, no! Try the trap again. Anything, please. Um. Yeah, we just gonna cut your leg off. Sorry, bro. I don't wanna. <laughs> no. Oh god, I feel so bad. Oh. Why is this taking so long? Oh, he just passed out. He passed out. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Behind you! Grab him! Come on, come on. We gotta move. This kid is so dumb, not gonna lie. Like, I don't, like... You would think, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of zombies. Maybe I'd be a little bit more careful. Oh, and he's dead. Yeah. Ugh, I don't like that. I feel bad because Shaggy's friend just died. I don't know what his name is yet, but he sounds like Shaggy and looks just like Shaggy, like from Scooby-Doo. So, all we need to do is get him a Scooby. Excuse me. <laughs> There's Squidward. It's really hard not to like want to dislike this guy, Larry. He's just so mean. There's Clam. There's Sid. Well, Duck. I don't have a nightmare for her yet. And then, like, I remember, I think, I don't remember if I said this already, it might have literally just been something I thought about, but I was, like, gonna make fun of Carly for, like, looking like a news reporter, or, like, a news anchor. And I remember that her character, like, in the game is a news reporter, so I can't really do that. Doesn't really make sense. It's kind of her job. Something in my eyeball. I can't take him seriously. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are they doing? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing you people here. Oh, what she gotta go thinking? off. Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, Come I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else. Just us. How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. Lily be kind of heartless, but you know, you can't really blame her the because like... you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, Why is she so oh, mean? Oh my god, I feel so bad. Shaggy looks so nervous. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like 
to think Aww. you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own. Not quite. Kenny seems to have gone like more feisty since the last episode. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. I can't tell, like, what just happened. catches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, Ooh. he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. Can you shut up? I don't like Lonnie her dad, I'm sorry. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Do we have to hand out the rations? That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. No, I don't I'm like serious. that. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. I already know what I'm gonna do. Essentially, I already know I'm like I I have an idea for this of like what I'm already gonna do because it's something I'd probably do anyways. Um, I don't like it, but I already I I'm probably gonna give it to the kids, the two younger ones. Can y'all stop looking at me? Makes me uncomfy. I'm giving it to these youngins first. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Um, we'll say sure. sure. Be nice. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? I'm trying okay. so hard not to yawn. Jesus. Blech. Anyways. Okay, we're going to give him food, I guess. Want something to eat? Here, Ben. After what you've been through, seems like you could use a pick-me-up. Seriously? I know food's scarce. This is really... I really appreciate it, man. What are you doing, Lee? That food should go to us first. Just because we don't know it doesn't mean he's not hungry. Well, it's a good thing Kenny didn't see that. He might not be so understanding. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. You're fine, kid. Enjoy. Well... Now we give it to... Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! They better appreciate it! Because I'm not getting anything and we're going to get to come, obviously. I'm just assuming he's like a college or high school student, so I was just like, we're just going to do three youngest. Easy for me. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Is that a crow in the background? Sorry, I always hear it. I pick up on the weirdest noises Will during you these hold games. The damn board steady. I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. No, why he's so annoying? Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need yep. any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? 
Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Um, okay, so give it to Mark or give it to Larry. We'll give it to Larry because Here, this help. I, I don't know. Try not to make too much noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. He's always cranky, though. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Mm-hmm. Saved you, too, know. so... I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kitty, I know I ran out of food before... Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. I was like, mm -hmm. Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. What? You're to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Jesus. Ken, Lee, come here, please. She's just he covered in blood. He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man... Kenny's was gotten such an tried, attitude. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kids? Uh, uh, oh, wh why? I'm so confused. What's happening here? Where's my head? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Bro! I literally just spaced out for a second there and just like... You okay? I don't even know. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Be careful with the axe, bro. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, now he doesn't have that weird squeaky voice. It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you I only kind of know this just because I just if it's based happened. off the show I'm pretty sure it's how it is in the show. That's the only reason I kind of know this. <laughs> We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. 
Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Why do they call it the dairy? That's kind of Lee, why don't you that's and weird. I don't know. It's like not like weird. I just like called a farm. It's a weird I thing. I don't know. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. The, the guy's just like chilling in the back. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Okay. So, this dairy, do you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Are me and Carly gonna we like fall in love? Like Lee, while. but like my character, I guess, gonna like fall in love. To get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, Why? Not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because I'm just saying, we well, not honest with the trust or the guy yeah, here. There he goes. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? Um, now it's not, not the, the time. time. I mean, we're in an apocalypse. It's not really the time. Talk. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. No. You have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Exactly. Sure everyone would see it that way. Well, maybe you're right. I mean, Larry wouldn't because it's Larry, but... Pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean... I keep looking at my mic. Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's okay, so I forgot they're from Georgia. Don't seem oh, that's where this takes place. Motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Okay, so the doctor said I am Kenny. Okay, obviously Willie Willy. for the most part. Well, a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit. She needs to know Sorry if I look like I'm looking at the screen I'm where I'm trying to like look at the little anyway. notes they put in the corner. Nine including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mom's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Oh. Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, fucking this. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? I'm oh, so confused. Man, I got you covered if something happened. Let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! Wow! Oh, here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. So he is dead and gonna be a zombie. <laughs> I don't know what they had going on there, but that was interesting. Anyways, I'm going to pause it there for right now. I always try to make sure I stop at a point where it's like going to save my progress and stuff. Anyways, I hope y'all 
really enjoyed this episode. And again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys would be interested in seeing me play games like Resident Evil, for example. Because I'm really excited to hopefully be able to show you guys that. And obviously, I want to know if y'all have any other types of games to suggest for me to play. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, day, whenever you're watching this. Bye!